Hi guys, welcome to a little bit of everything. I am Melissa Atalia, and today I will be showing you five different ways of how to apply your concealer um, so it looks smooth and doesn't look too cakey and it looks perfect right on your face. Um, first of all, I want to show you how to apply concealer. And one of the things that I like to do is like spot it in as a triangle form. Because when that way, when you actually blend in, it's not too cakey, it's not too heavy. Uh, <clears throat> it'll blend perfectly. So the five ways to apply the concealer is by your fingers, use your ring, your ring finger and make sure your hands are washed, your brush, the, the concealer brush, um, the highlighting and blending sponge, and this new thing that I kind of came up with, it's the, um, the makeup applicator foundation blender, which can also be used for concealer. Um, it's a silicone kind of type and the wet applicator sponges so we'll see which one works best and you can use whatever you want I mean whatever you feel comfortable with but you're always gonna find one that's more favorite for you and more easier to apply that makes you look and feel good so stay tuned so the first option of applying your concealer would be your ring finger I've already washed my hands and you know it comes to a situation when you come to a situation that you've been traveling you forgot all your brushes all your sponges your fingers can work so just make sure your fingers are clean and that you're not rubbing against your eyelids or your underneath your eyes so heavily because you don't want to like stretch your skin so you can just kind of like gently dab until until you feel like it's completely blended in well and then put some around your eyelid you know that way you have the security for your eyeshadow um, around the eye just dabbing and then keep going lower and lower and that way you don't have like a lot of concealer around your eye that doesn't look too cakey. So it's blended in well. Hmm. Your next option would be your blending foundation brush. You see it has a little tip angle at the top and it helps. One of the things that I, I mean, I like it because it does work, but one of the things that I don't like is the fact that I feel that, you know, you can't get that close to your eye because you feel like you can poke your eye, so you gotta be very careful. So, um, this probably would be one of my least options, but I mean, if I had no other option or other way, I would still do it, because it works. It works, it looks good at the end of the. So you start dabbing around and trying to get a little bit closer, closer, closer to your eye. Obviously use your eyelid too, around, the teardrop area and then when you get closer to your eyelid right here I mean when you get closer to your um, line area of your eye below just kind of like go smooth it out by brushing gently so that way you don't have like that open area or not have concealer around there or have too much concealer around there so that way it smooths out perfectly And just gently. I mean, this brush is soft anyway, so it won't really hurt your eye, but just be gentle with your face. And work your way down. So you see the difference between the finger and the brush. It feels <clears throat> that you can actually see more, this side looks more lighter than this. Um, and that could be because your finger kind of absorbs a lot of your foundation while you're processing that. And sometimes it just gets stuck on your finger and you know it doesn't like really go through and continue brushing what you have on your face. Whether using the brush, it uses everything that you have, it doesn't get stuck in the brush. So it helps too. I mean, if you want that light look, 
then yes, I would recommend using the brush. If you want the finger and if you want it to look a little bit more natural, then go with that. But you can see the difference. This one, the size looks, the side looks more lighter than versus this one. All right, so the next option would be your silicone makeup foundation and concealer applicator. Let's see how well this works. This is the first time I'm using this, so I don't know how this will end up coming out. But let's try, um, see if it, it feels, well, basically it feels like if you're using kind of your finger, I mean, it's still, it's like a gelatin form. It's still firm. So it's not like it's wiggling all over the place. Um, when it comes to like just rubbing against your eyelid, it feels like it kind of gets stuck because it's, you know, the silicone form. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't like the feeling of this for the reason is that you can't get closer to your eye um when you get to the corners i feel like i feel like it just i'm pulling on my skin and it, and it, and it kind of gets stuck because it's rubbery you know so you're not getting that smooth effect and, and it doesn't look that great you see it kind of looks kind of choppy and you see some parts, I mean, I don't know if you can see very clearly, but you see some parts where they're thicker than the others. It looks patchy. I don't like that look. So I feel like you can't blend this very well. So honestly, this would not be my option of blending. So if you want to try just to see how it looks on you and if it works well for you, great. But honestly, it didn't work for me. I would not use it and I would not recommend it. Um... I just feel like it tugs on your skin so much and I don't think you want that. And also it makes you look patchy, patchy kind of a concealer in your eyes. So I don't think you want that either. But if you want to go ahead and try it, go ahead and try it. I mean, that's why I'm trying it here for you. So you don't have to waste your money on this, um, but it's up to you. I, I do have to say that it is easier to clean because all you got to do is put it like put it underneath water with soap and then just wipe away. But I don't like this little thing that kind of flips open. I mean, maybe you can trim it. But this is another thing that would kind of get in my way, and I didn't like that. You can trim it around maybe, and it'll be a little bit more smoother here. But honestly, I, I personally don't like this. The next option for blending your concealer or your foundation would be your highlighting, um, highlight, highlighting blending sponge, which is this here. I like this one for... For the point that you obviously you normally see your blending sponge to be this kind of um, way but you have this side that's flat so you can get closer to your eye or flat areas that you need to like um blend in your makeup so it's easier and it has a little pointing tip so you can get closer to your teardrop teardrop area and on top of that you have this bottom that's a little fuzzy and that helps it smooth out. So like if you see an area that looks kind of patchy or whatever, you can actually go ahead and blend it and, and it will help like smooth out that area. So I definitely love this one. Um, it's still, it's a little bulky. I mean, so you feel like you can't get to your eye, but um, but that's because it's new. Once, once, um, once it gets a little older and um, once you've used once you use it for quite a few times um, and you're washing it and everything like that it'll get more softer but right now it's a little firm so it kind of feels like it's hard to get in but these work great and I love the fact they have three options for everything you can like um, this is like for areas that you need to get to with a full pointy tip you can blend in with this and it feels so smooth and just look at the areas that you feel like you need to get you need to smooth out. But if you look at both of these, you can't even tell that I'm wearing makeup or that I'm wearing concealer because it blended so well and it feels good. Where this one, you know, when I just finished doing with the silicone, I feel like it's still like sticky and patch, um, patchy because of the concealer didn't get smoothed out well. So um, <clears throat> it, it looks smoother and it looks cleaner. So I would definitely recommend the sponge um, and it's from... Um, it's from elf brand elf brand um, it's maybe like probably five bucks so it's not really that expensive but it's well worth paying this much last but not least we're using the wedge applicator which 
it's really old school, but you know what? It worked well. It worked well back then, and I'm pretty sure it'll work well now. So it's pretty much just the same as the punch, the sponge I used previously, which is the foundation and concealer or highlighting applicator. Um, the only thing is that this one it's thinner, and you can use it in areas that you know, like closer to your teardrop area, around your eye. And you have the thicker parts you can smooth out, obviously. Um, it works well. And um, I just, you know, I feel like when you buy the package, it comes with like maybe about 32 of them or something. So um, you have plenty. You can reuse this probably for a few times. But once you feel like it starts getting old, um, you can definitely um, throw it away and you have, you know, a bunch more. And one of the things I have to say, it is cheaper, probably like two, three bucks um, for the whole thing. And so you save on money and it works well. So you can see here, I'm applying around my eye and I'm just like smoothing it out or my teardrop area and eyelid for security of my eyeshadow. Um, and, and it blends well. So you can see, um, no patchy areas it's smooth and you know you don't have all the excessive makeup here because it, it blends very well so these are your five options of applying concealer to around your eye area and um obviously i would recommend using the wedge applicator and i would also recommend using the sponge um, foundation highlighting applicator those two work very well. And ladies, if you by any chance forget some of these through your um, sponges or brushes, don't freak out. You can always use your fingers, but just make sure you wash your hands. Um, I I wouldn't do that ever on an everyday basis, but um, if you have no other way, you don't have to like freak out and go out to a store and buy something. You can use your fingers and that'll be fine. As long as you know how to blend well, and you're you're not getting close to your area of your eye because you don't want to irritate your eye and you don't want to get any kind of infection so well, i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you uh make comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time bye